The last piece to look at in our JavaScript is the function called edit tag, which is called when you click the pencil icon to the right of a given tag. So for example, let me go ahead and click the pencil icon for Ditel here. And it turns out that there are, of course, other people with uh, my last name. And there's one in particular who happens to write medical books. And when I'm doing searches for Ditel, where I don't want to see his books getting displayed as well, what I do is I say Ditel minus Mervin which is the name of the other Ditel that writes medical books. And what this does is it says, locate Twitter searches for me that don't include the name Mervin. So uh, in this case, I have populated these um, input text elements based on which edit icon I touched. And the way that happened was by calling the documents get element ID method for the query uh, field, which is the first one, and setting its value to the local storage sub tag value for the tag that I had said to edit, so Ditel in that case. So this looks up the value for the key Ditel and stores it in the first input text element. And then we put the tag itself, which is what uh, is being displayed down here, in the second one. Now, if I save that and then reload the search, you can see that indeed. I have the updated search stored in the local storage object. And now if I were to click the URL that was defined for that search, it'll take me over to the Twitter uh, web page, perform the search, and give me results back that, are, that contain the word Ditel without the word Mervin in the searches. Now, because of the fact that I might have added a new search, we also call load searches here. So just as an example, if I change the name of the tag, I'll call this one Ditel2, and I hit Save Search, then you can see I get a new item here, even though I had edited an existing search to create the new one.